I'm Faraz, I'm a second year medical student at the University of Cambridge, and this is how I scored an 8.6 in my BMAT section 2. So about two months before the BMAT, I put together my three-step plan to try and get a 9 in section 2. I ended up with an 8.6, so I didn't do too badly, I think. So step one of this plan was going through the BMAT section 2 assumed knowledge guide. The link is in my bio below, but essentially this guide has all of the content from GCSE that you need to know for BMAT section 2. What I did was I read through this entire guide and with the bits I found more difficult, I went back over them using my own learning techniques. I can go over this in another video, but I used things like Feynman blurting and blank paper recall. Now, what I did after going through that section to assume knowledge guide, making sure I have a very firm grasp of everything from GCSE biology, chemistry, physics, and math, is I had to collate from a large number of online resources and also speaking to older students what exam techniques and what tips and tricks they had to do well in the BMAT. I knew in BMAT section 2 you're not allowed a calculator, so some of the calculations could be very difficult if I didn't know what I was doing. This part of the process, step 2, was probably the most long-winded, because I didn't have a centralised source of information. In order to help students with this, me and my friend Hamza have created SigmaMed. The SigmaMed BMAT course can be found at sigmamed.co.uk. It's essentially a video course that you can come back to at any time that goes through each section of the BMAT, teaching you the tips and tricks and all the techniques you need to know, as well as going through some content and having over 30 worked examples. I would recommend getting this course, it's only £25, for any student sitting the BMAT next month. Now, step three of my plan was to get as much practice as possible. So my two main sources of BMAT Section 2 practice were first of all, obviously, the BMAT Section 2 past papers. I did every single paper, but you don't necessarily have to do that to score well. The other thing I used was the NSAA Section 1 papers. These contain questions very similar to BMAT Section 2, so I also did some of those as practice. So that's my three-step plan to try and ace BMAT Section 2. And if you want to know more about how to do well in BMAT Section 2, go to sigmamed.co.uk to buy my and my friend Hamza's course. This course should really help students, and our vision is hopefully one day it can be the industry standard that helps most students prepare for the BMAT. Thank you for watching.